If you just bought a home in Austin or you're thinking of buying a home in Austin, watch out for these two scams. I just bought a home myself this last year and I just received one of these scams in my mailbox. So watch this video. I'm going to warn you about what to watch out for so you don't fall victim to it. So the first scam to watch out for actually comes from the appraisal district, the county appraisal tax office in which you purchase the property. So my husband and I just bought a brand new home in Travis County back in November, and we just got this letter, which looks super official. It's from the Travis County appraisal district. And what it's asking for is our help filling out a sales survey. What they want to know is what we spent on the property. What was the final sales price? How was it financed? They want to know what income we make. They want to know the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, all kinds of stuff like that. And here's why this is a scam. You, this looks so official. It even says, thank you in advance, Travis Central Appraisal District. Here's the thing in Texas, our property values are not disclosed. We are a non-disclosure state. So you cannot find the sales prices of homes publicly anywhere. It's something that's private. Only realtors can access that data on the MLS and the tax office cannot access it. There's actually some big disputes right now because supposedly the tax office paid some third party sites to get that information, which they should not have access to. So when you see an, a letter like this asking you to disclose your sales price and your financial and personal data to the tax office, you need to take this and throw it into the trash can, tear it up, do not share that information. All they're wanting to know is how high they can tax you. A lot of times the assessed values are often lower than what you paid for the purchase price of the property. And that's perfectly okay. In the rare instances where they, the tax assessment is higher than what you paid for it, you can also protest that every year. We can assist you in getting the resources to do so, but definitely you should not fill out a form like this and just give away that data to the tax office. They're trying to pay to tax you as much as possible. So you pay more in taxes. Now the second scam to watch out for has to do with a homestead exemption. Now a homestead exemption is a tax benefit. It gives you a little break on your taxes if it's your primary residence. So let's say you buy the home you're going to live in in Travis County. You can fill out a homestead exemption online on the county website. It's completely free. You only have to fill it out one time and it gives you a 20% discount off your tax bill plus some extra incentives such as not having your taxes raised over a certain limit each year. So this is something that's free. Anytime our clients purchase a home, we always send them out a reminder, Hey, don't forget to fill out your homestead exemption. Super easy. The only thing you need to have done beforehand is to have your driver's license updated so that the new address matches the address of the property that you're filing it for. But there are companies who will also send out little letters in the mail saying, Hey, you just purchased this property. Here's your homestead exemption form. Fill this out and send us whatever it is, $40, $50. And we will process this to get your homestead exemption filed. It always looks super official. Like it's coming from a government office, but it's a third party company that's just trying to rip you off and get you know, 50 bucks or whatever the price is now. And it's something that you can do completely for free by just going to the county office website. So don't fall victim for either of those two scams they are both related to your property taxes. So as always, if you ever have any real estate questions or concerns, please ask an expert. You can reach out to me. I'm Shannon Mangin of the Mangin Team at Real Brokerage. I will definitely warn you about scams like these and make sure that you're protecting yourself, not only during the purchase of a property, but afterwards. You can contact me below for any of your real estate needs.